Hello everyone, my name is Ajay Sharma and I welcome you all to the Cult Live Home Session. So today in SNC we will do full body strengthening and conditioning workout. So make sure you have a water bottle along with you. So whenever you need a break, you can quickly take a break as well. Okay, so let's start with the warm up. What we are going to do is we are going to do the sport jog for a few seconds and then after that we will do butt kicks as well. All right, for the sport jogs, you have to keep both of your stands in line with your hips, lift your heels up, and slowly jump to the left side and to your right side. All right, come on, get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Keep your knees soft. Try to keep all the weight on your toes, means heels will remain off the floor all the time. And along with that, move your hands as well. These are just warm up rounds. You don't have to speed up for any movement, okay? Three, two, one. All right, now let's switch to the butt kicks. So try to lift your heel up as high as you can and try to keep it close to your hips. Same thing, just keep it slow. If you want to make it step by step, you can do that as well. All right, come on. Just keep moving. A few more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, all right, again, back to the spot jog. Three, two, one and relax all right so let's start with the mobilities first one we will go with the good mornings so for the good mornings you have to keep both of your stands in line with the hips both hands behind your neck and elbows are pointing back side okay so from here what you have to do is you have to push your hips back and lean forward at the same time and go low as low as you can so make sure your spine is neutral so once you reach to your limit, make one second pause and slowly stand all the way up to your starting position, okay? So we're going to perform this movement for 40 seconds. Come on, get ready. Both stands in line with your hips, both hands behind your neck, elbows are pointing backside. In three, two, one, let's go. Come on, push your hips back, keep your knees soft and lean forward, as forward as you can. Make one second pause and slowly stand all the way up. All right, then again, go for another one. Keep lifting your elbows up as well. Then again, slowly all the way up. And just keep going with the flow, come on. You can choose your own speed, but again, no need to rush for these mobilities as well, okay? Just keep it easy, keep it slow, and continue for 40 seconds. Almost done. Last five. All right, complete your last one. Go all the way down, stand all the way up and relax. Perfect. All right, let's go with second one. We will go with the hip flexors, okay? So for the hip flexors, you have to keep both of your knees in line with your hips, then take one leg forward. Then, now from here, you have to keep your shoulders forward, squeeze your glutes forward and take your knee forward as forward as you can, but make sure your heel is remaining on the floor, okay? So once you reach to your limit, then again all the way back to your starting position. So we will perform 20 seconds on your right side, then switch on the other side. Same thing 20 seconds on your left side, okay? All right, come on, get ready. Any leg forward, heel in line with your knee, shoulders back, three, two, one, and go. Come on, squeeze the glutes forward, take your knee forward, one second pause, then again back. Then again lean forward, pause. Then again back and just continue with the movement. Come on. Keep your spine neutral. Make sure your heel is remaining on the floor all the time, okay? Very important. Three, two, one, and release. All right, now switch on the other side. Starting in three, two, one, and go. Take your knee forward, shoulders back, then again all the way back. So I'm just keeping my hands as a support but don't press your knees on the floor, of, don't press your knees with, on your, with the help of your hands, okay? Just keep it easy. Come on, few more seconds. Let's complete one more. Go all the way forward and all the way back and relax, perfect. All right, now third exercise, we will do world greatest stretch, okay? For this, position, for this exercise, you have to go with the high plank position, means both palms in line with the shoulders, both legs totally extended. Then you have to take your right leg forward, try to keep it in line with your palms. I'm gonna show you the sideways how it's gonna look like. So right leg forward in line with your palms, touch your right elbow down 
and same hand will go all the way up. Okay, again go down, do up. We will perform 20 seconds on each side, 20 seconds on right leg, 20 seconds on your left leg. Okay. All right, come on, get ready. Go to the high plank position. Take one leg forward in three, two, one. Let's go. Try to touch your elbow down and hand will go straight all the way up and look up as well. Just follow your palm. Few more seconds. Three, two, one, and change. All right, now other side. Left leg forward. Three, two, one, and go. Come on, stretch your hand all the way up. Open your chest as well. Few more seconds. Last three, two, one, and release. Very nice. All right. So last one, we will go with the cat and camel. Okay. So for the cat and camel, you have to keep both of your palms in line with your shoulders, both knees in line with the hips, and toes are tucking inside. Then from here, you have to lift your chin all the way up. Focus on your lower back. So press your lower back down. It's called cat. Then you have to hatch your back all the way up. Stretch your arms. It's called camel. Okay. So when you hold to the cat, make two second pose. Then switch to the camel. Again, two second pose. We're going to perform this exercise for 40 seconds. All right. Come on. Get ready. In three, two, one. Let's go. Chin all the way up. Press your lower back down. Now slowly hatch your back all the way up. Stretch your arms. Then again slowly switch to the cat. Try to look as high as you can. Then again go to the camel. And just keep moving. Come on, few more seconds. Just keep the movement slow. No need to rush. Come on, last three, two, one, and release, and relax as well. All right, so now we are done with the mobilities. Let's go with our main workout, okay? So today we have total four exercises. Each exercise we are going to perform for 40 seconds and 20 second maximum break in between, okay? So first exercise we have sprawls. So it's a cardiovascular movement. So starting position is again both stands in line with the hips. All right? Then you have to push your hips back, lean forward and touch your palms on the floor. Then you have to jump all the way back to the high plank position. Jump all the way forward and stand all the way up. This is going to count as one rep. Okay? So now scale down version as well. If you find it difficult with the jump one, what you can do is same thing, palms on the floor, but step, step back, step step forward and stand all the way up, okay? You can choose the scale down version if you find it difficult is the first one or if you're getting tired in between, you can quickly switch to the scale down version as well, okay? So as of now, let's perform this movement only for 10 seconds. So we'll get more clarity about this movement, how we have to perform it, okay? All right, come on, check your stance. Both stands in line with the hips. Three, two, one, let's go. Hips back, palms down. Jump back to the high plank, make sure your hips are not dropping down. Jump forward and stand all the way up. Shoulders up before you go for a second one. Palms down, jump back, jump forward, up. Let's go one more. Palms down, jump back, jump forward and all the way up. Super. All right, now let's go with the second exercise. We have normal push-ups, okay? So we'll go with the regular push-ups. I recommend you start with the floor. Just simply lay down on the floor, keep both of your palms close to your chest and elbows are tucking inside, all right? Make sure your toes are tucking inside as well, especially if you're going with full range of push-ups. So what you have to do is, try to imagine you're just pressing the floor and go all the way up to the high plank position. Elbows will remain inside and slowly go back to the starting position, which is on the floor. Once you're done, then go for another one, all the way up, 
then again all the way down. If you find any difficulties, all you have to do is keep your knees on the floor, but lift your shoulders and hips together all the way up, then again all the way down. All right, come on, let's perform this exercise again only for 10 seconds. So let's try to make it three reps or four reps maximum, okay? Come on, just lay down, palms close, elbows inside, keep your spine neutral, three, two, one, and go. All the way up, lock your elbows, and slowly down, and again go back to the floor. Then go for another one, all the way up, slowly down, and all the way up, slowly down, and relax. Perfect. All right, now fourth exercise is called lunge runners, okay? So for the lunge runners, you have to keep, again, both knees in line with the hips, take one leg forward, and this is your starting position. So from here, all you have to do is you have to move your hands, okay? So you have to keep your palm in line with your elbow and the elbow in line with your shoulder. Same thing with the oppo uh, opposite leg, opposite arm as well. Palm in line with the elbow, elbow in line with your shoulders. So from here, all you have to do is move your hands, reverse it and switch on the other side, okay? So this is how it's gonna look like. So again, we're gonna perform it 10 seconds on each side. So first right leg will go forward, we'll do 10 seconds, then left leg will go forward, we'll do for 10 seconds, okay? All right, come on, get ready, spine neutral, hands forward, three, two, one, let's go. Just choose your own speed, focus on your core as well, keep your spine neutral. Three, two, one, all right, now slowly change, both knees down, then opposite leg forward, in three, two, one, and go. Last three, two, one, and release. Very nice. Now, we have one more exercise. It's called sit-ups, okay? So, for the sit-ups, you just have to simply lay down on the floor, both knees pointing up, okay? Then from here, keep your hands in line with your shoulders. All you have to do is lean all the way forward then again go all the way back if you find any difficulties with this movement what you can do is you can just go with the half sit-ups means you have to lift your shoulders up as high as you can then again on the floor this one is as effective as when you go with the full range of motion it's all up to you if you if you can do full range just go with full range otherwise just keep it half okay all right let's perform this exercise again only for 10 seconds as of now just lay down, knees up, heels slightly close to your hips. In three, two, one, let's go. All the way forward and slowly back. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, perfect. All right, so now we have done the quick warm up round and let's go with our main workout. It means each exercise for 40 seconds, 20 seconds maximum break in between, okay? Come on, if you want to drink some water, go ahead and get ready for the first round. Okay, so first exercise is sprawls. Now, remember this workout is all about completing the seconds rather than focusing on the reps, okay? What I mean to say is, if you're completing eight sprawls within 40 seconds, which is good to go, rather than you're, focusing, you're, you're forcing yourself to do 15 reps of sprawl, but you're just going out of breath or something like that, okay? Keep the movement comfortable, but continue for 40 seconds, as many sprawls as you can, and then the same thing with other three exercises as well. All right? Come on, get ready. First exercise, sprawls, starting in three, two, one, Let's go. Come on, palms down, jump back, high plank, jump forward and stand all the way up. Then go for another one. You can choose your own speed. If you're an advanced member, you can speed up a little bit or just keep it simple or you can synchronize with my sprawls as well. Come on, just keep it easy. Few more seconds. A 
Last three, two, one, and relax. Perfect. Okay, now second exercise, push-ups. Come on, you can quickly lay down on the floor. Both of your hands close. Elbows are inside. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Come on, all the way up and slowly down all right come on you can go up fast but whenever you go down try to control the movement so try to control your body weight come on again remember if you're getting tired in between do not stop you can switch to the kneeling push-ups absolutely fine okay come on Come on, we are almost done. Last three, two, one, and relax. All right, very nice. Now, third exercise, we have lunge runner. So you can keep your knees on the floor. And get ready, come on. Starting in five, four, three, Two, one, let's go. So this movement we are going to perform only for 20 seconds, okay? So 20 seconds each side. Come on, choose your own speed and continue with that movement. Three, two, one, and stop. All right, now slowly change, other side, in three, two, one, let's go. Come on, almost done. Last three, two, one, and stop. Very nice. All right, now fourth exercise, sit-ups. Just simply lay down on the floor. Oh, come on, catch your breath. And get ready. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Go as far as you can and slowly back. Come on, just keep moving. Keep the speed slow, but continue with the movement. Come on, 10 more seconds, that's all. Last three, two, one, and just relax. Very nice. All right, now take your time. We are going to take 30 to 40 second maximum break. Okay, by the time you can just lay down, catch your breath, let your heartbeat go slow down a little, and then stand, take a sip of water, keep yourself hydrated as well. All right, come on, slowly stand, walk around a little, and prepare yourself for second round. First exercise, remember, sprawls. We are going to start in 10 seconds, come on. All right, starting in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Come on, choose your own rhythm and try to continue, continue with that speed. Come on, few more seconds. Last. 
Last three, two, one, and relax. Perfect. All right, second one push up. So you can just simply lay down on the floor and now you can take a break. So whenever we are about to start, you can quickly start. All right, come on, take your positions, both palms closed, elbows inside, starting in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Come on, just keep the movement slow. Tight your abdomen, then go with the high plank. Then again, slowly down, elbows are tucking inside. Remember, you can switch to kneeling push-up anytime you feel like. But just continue with the movement. Few more seconds. Last three, two, one, and release. Very nice. All right, next one, lunge runners. Okay, come on. Keep your knees close. Take your right leg forward. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Come on, focus on your core. Stabilize the movement and just keep going. Come on, few more seconds. Three, two, one, and stop. Very nice. All right, now switch, other side. Starting in three, two, one, let's go. Come on, few more seconds. Just keep the same speed. Last three, two, one, and stop. Very nice. All right, again, take your time, catch your breath, or just lay down on the floor and prepare yourself for sit-ups. All right, come on, starting in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Remember, as forward as possible, if you're going half, absolutely fine, okay? Come on. But just keep moving. Keep the flow on. Few more seconds. Last three, two, complete the last one and lay down and again relax. All right, this is our time to take a break. Take 30 to 40 seconds. Again, it's all up to you. If you wanna lay down, just relax, take your time and then get some water, then prepare yourself for next round. All right, come on. Slowly stand, walk around, Take a one or two sip of water and prepare yourself for the next round. First exercise, yes, sprawls. Come on, we are going to start in 10 seconds. All right, starting in five, four, three, two, one, let's go.
remember choose your own speed and also you can do stepping sprawls as well okay if you're getting tired step step back jump forward or what you can do is jump back step step forward then again stand okay so whatever you feel comfortable with just go with that movement come on few more seconds that's all three two one and complete and then stop all right come on knees on the floor or just lay down prepare yourself for the push-ups all right come on keep your palms closed elbows inside starting in three two one let's go go with full range means go all the way up lock your elbows all the way down chest on the floor and then go for another one come on just keep moving keep the same flow go with kneeling push-ups absolutely fine come on last few seconds last five four three two one and relax very nice all right come on shake your arms if you need it and prepare yourself for lunge runners all right come on take your one leg forward elbows in line with your shoulders starting in three two one let's go focus on your core make sure your hands are the one who's moving okay come on three two one and release all right now slowly switch other side starting in three two one let's go come on few more seconds three two one and relax superb okay come on lay down on your back and just relax for a while all right come on get ready last exercise and starting in five four three two one let's go come on just keep going with your flow focus on your core tight your abdomen and just keep moving come on just few more seconds last five four three two one and relax very nice all right again take your time catch your breath and just take a sip of water come on all right next round come on get ready this is round number 4 last and final round 
Come on, prepare yourself. Starting in 10 seconds. Come on, starting in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Come on. Come on, just keep moving. A few more seconds. Come on, last 10. Last three, two, one. Complete the last one. Stand all the way up and just relax. All right, very nice. Now again, just simply lay down. Take a break, catch your breath. And prepare yourself for push-ups. Come on, get ready. Both palms close, elbows in. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Come on, just tight your core, spine neutral, and push yourself all the way up. Come on, just keep moving, a few more seconds. Switch to kneeling push-ups, but continue with the movement. Last five, four, three, two, one. And just relax. All right, again, take your time. And prepare yourself. Come on, lunge runners. Take one step forward, starting in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Come on, keep moving. Almost done. Three, two, one, and start. All right, come on, slowly switch. Other side. In three, two, one, let's go. Almost done. Three, two, one, and just relax. Very nice. Okay, come on. Lay down, last exercise of workout one. All right, come on, prepare yourself for sit-ups. Starting in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Come on, just keep going with the same speed. Just a few more seconds. Come on, we are halfway done. Last 10 seconds. Last five, four, three, two, one. Last, complete and relax. Very nice. All right. Now, take your time, same thing, catch your breath. Let your heartbeat go down to the normal little before we go with our main, uh, second workout, okay? Workout two. All 
Alright, come on, same thing, just keep holding. Just relax. All right, come on, quickly take a sip of water. And by the time you're just completing your break, you're taking a sip of water, I'm gonna demonstrate second workout, okay? So we have total two exercises, both of them gonna work on your core. First exercise is bicycle crunches, and second one is side crunches, okay? Both of them gonna work on your oblings, but you're gonna feel on your core as well when you do the bicycle crunches. So for the starting for the bicycle crunches is just simply lay down on the floor, both hands behind your neck, both heels up, okay? So then what we are going to do is, we're gonna lift our right elbow forward and close to the left knee, so left knee back will go back at the same time and other leg will go all the way forward, okay? So once you complete, then slowly switch on the other side, lift your shoulders up, then again other side, lift your shoulder up. We're gonna perform this exercise only for 20 seconds. 20 seconds of workout, 10 second maximum break. Then after 10 seconds, we will do side to side crunches. So for the side to side crunches, you have to keep both of your heels close to your hips, arms totally extended, and keep your arms close to your body. Then lift your shoulders up. So now all you have to do is, you have to lean to your left side as left as you can, then switch, lean to your right side as right as you can but you have to speed up a little bit, okay? Quickly to your left to right, as many as you can. Same thing for 20 seconds, cool? So, same thing, we're gonna perform four rounds of this exercise with 20 second workout time and 10 seconds break time. All right, come on, I hope you're ready. If not, just come, come on quickly, just lay down on the floor. Take both of your hands behind your neck, okay? So remember, just one shoulder at a time, then opposite leg, opposite shoulder. Come on, both heels up, starting in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Take your elbow forward, other leg will go forward, and just keep moving. Come on, just focus on your core. Make sure your lower back is always on the floor. Three, two, one, and release. Very nice. Now get ready for side to side crunches. Come on, heels back, arms extend. Lift the shoulders up in three, two, one. Let's go. So just focus on your toes, try to touch your toes with your fingers and lean forward as forward as you can. Come on, almost done. Three, two, one, stop. Superb. All right, round two. Get ready. Both hands back in five, four, three, Two, one, let's go. Just focus on your core, tight your abdomen. Take your other leg all the way forward, then switch other side. Almost done. Three, two, one, and release. Awesome. All right, come on, take your heels back. Hands forward, shoulders up, in three, two, one, let's go. So you can look up rather than looking forward, All right? So keep your neck neutral and just keep moving, come on. Three, two, one, and stop. Very nice. All right, two rounds done, two more to go. Okay, get ready. Round number three. Both hands back, starting in five, four, 
three, two, one, let's go. Come on, just keep moving. A few more seconds. Last three, two, one, and release. Amazing. All right, come on, get ready. Side to side. In three, two, one, let's go. Come on, just keep moving. Few more seconds. Do not stop. Last three, two, one, and stop. Amazing. And one more round. That's all, okay? All right, come on. Get ready. Both of your hands back. Both heels up in five, four, three, two, one, and go. Come on, just keep going. Do not stop. Last three, two, one, and Relax. Very nice. Okay, last exercise. Come on, get ready. Palms forward, shoulders up. In three, two, one. Let's go. Come on, speed up a little. This is the last one. Last 10 seconds. Last three, two, one, and relax. Amazing, absolutely amazing, guys. All right, now, worker two is done as well. Before we go with our cool down, we're gonna do a little bit relaxation, okay? So what we are going to do is, we're gonna keep our stance forward, totally legs, totally relaxed, palms pointing up, close your eyes if you want, and just relax your body. Okay, we're gonna hold it here for 30 seconds. Come on, get ready. In three, two, one, and just relax. Let your heartbeat go down. You can go with deep breathing as well. Take a nice deep breath in. And now slowly deep breathe out. Oh, right, we go 10 more seconds. All right, three, two, one. All right, get ready for cool down. Come on, keep both of your stands close to each other and shake your legs. Come on. Three, two, one. All right, first one we'll go with kneeling stretch. So take your right knee all the way back, interlock your fingers and just hold it. So take a knee close to your chest, as close as you can. Keep your grip tight. Three, two, one. And slowly release. Now switch on the other side. Take your left knee all the way back. Interlock your fingers. And pull your leg all the way back close to your chest. And hold it. Three, two, one, and release. Okay, so next one we'll do archer stretch. 
So take your right knee up in line with your hip while keeping both of your shoulders on the floor. You have to take your right leg, uh, right knee to your left side and try to keep it close to the floor as close as you can and just hold it. Three, two, one. All right, and release. Now switch on the other side. Take your left knee up and to your right side. Keep both of your shoulders on the floor. Three, two, one, and release. Very nice. Okay, now half sit down, both stands forward. Okay, now take one knee outside, hold your right toe with right hand. If you find any difficulties holding in toes, you can hold the shin as well. And opposite hand will go overhead, fingers are pointing towards the toes and hold it. You're gonna get nice stretch over your hamstring along with your side oblings. Three, two, one. All right, very nice. Now slowly release, then switch on the other side. Take your right knee back, hold your toe or hold your shin. Opposite head, hand will go overhead, fingers pointing towards your toes. Lean forward and hold it. Three, two, one and release okay now slowly switch to the child pose so both toes pointing back side first sit all the way back on your heels then take both of your hands forward forehead down and just relax last three two one all right now Take your hips in line with your knees, both hands forward. We'll do thread to needle. So you have to take your right hand inside of the left hand, shoulder on the floor, and take your opposite hand all the way forward and just hold it. Three, two, one. All right, now slowly switch, other side, shoulder on the floor, opposite hand totally extended. Three, two, one, and release. Very nice. Okay, now we're gonna go with the cobra position. Keep both of your hands slightly close to each other. Both knees down, toes pointing back. Drop your hips down as low as you can. Look all the way up and hold it. Three, two, one. All right, now toes are tucking inside, hips back, switch to the mountain. So hips all the way up, press your shoulders down. Three, two, one. All right, now slowly move your toes forward, step by step. Once you reach, slowly stand. All right, now simply keep your hands down and slowly shrug your shoulders back. Three, two, one. Slowly shrug it forward. Three, two, one. Interlock your fingers, palm facing forward. Hatch your back. Three, two, one. All right, now slowly move your wrist. Three, two, one. Other side. Three, two, one. Give a nice shake to your hands. Shake your legs and give yourself applause. Good job, everyone. Okay, again, in today's strengthening and conditioning, we did full body workout and it is going to take some time to get recovered properly, okay? So make sure you're focusing on your nutrition and keep yourself hydrated as well. And I really hope you enjoyed the session. And if you do so, you can go to our Facebook community page. It's called Stronger Together with Cult Home. You can drop your feedback over there. I'm looking forward to see your comments over there as well, okay? Also, you can just follow us on Instagram if you have some uh, if you have any image of you doing workout, you can just tag us over there as well. 
with the name of Cult Transform Plus. Okay? Again, this is me, Ajay Sharma. I'm gonna see you the next session as well. Goodbye from my side. For more workout videos, download the Cult Fit app now and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. We are Cult.